Welcome to the terminal everyone. In today's edition, we'll be taking a look at how to compile and run C++ and C programs on Linux. So the three main text editors I'd recommend to use are Sublime Text, Atom, and Gedit. Although I would recommend Sublime Text the most out of the three, and that's also going to be the one that we'll be using as an example in this video. So out of the three, Gedit has the most basic and simple interface, whereas the other two have more preferences and options. And as you can see, Sublime Text has different themes for the background and the syntax. And if you want to download it, you can go to the official website. It gives you instructions on how to install it for your specific distro. And first and foremost, make sure to save the file and remember the path of the file location because this is going to be important for later on in the video. And also pay attention to what you're about to see on the screen because this is how to change the build system provided um, to fit the specific terminal that you'll be using. Instructions will be in the description. So in order to compile it, you press Control shift b and you select the single file option and to run it, you press the run option. The reason why I recommend the build in the description is because it gives you better options and you can run it through the terminal which is a great plus. You can also run it through the terminal by pressing on the file and click run in terminal. So this is important. If you want to compile a program through the terminal you have to first open up the file location path and so you do this by pressing and typing cd and then the path to the file and then you can use ls to see if it's there. And so how do you compile it? Well, make sure that G++ is installed on your system. Chances are it probably is. But do that and then in order to compile it, you do G++ O, then the name of the file and then again the name of the file with .c++ at the end. In order to run it, you do dot slash and then the name of the file. For C programs is the same thing except instead of G++ you just type in GCC. So that's basically it. Thanks for watching and if you have any comments make sure to leave a comment.